I don't think I'm going to use Mantine, but, but, it'll probably be better just to have it to switch in sometimes as bulk. Alright, let's heal everyone up while I check if we're actually doing stuff yet. Hold on. Almost there. Uh, we'll just go ahead and go on up to the other stuff. Who's first on our party? Skip Loom Furret. Yeah, I want to get Furret all purified and whatnot. Uh. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> so what, can we go into this other place now? Yeah, I think we can. This is the guy we have to fight. Not that. I wanted to see how many Pokeballs we had then. Yo, will this thing ever load? There we go. Yeah, we do. Alright. Yeah, we're good. Okay, cool. No, stop. No! Okay, Quillfish and what, Goldeen? Quillfish is the shadow here. I remember that part. That Quillfish made me upset before. Alright, let's put this thing to sleep. We can Shadow Rush Goldeen. Why is Quillfish so fast? Why is it so strong, too? <laughs> of course. And it missed. And we're confused. Alright, that's just peachy. Uh, let's Mega Drain, then. Why not? I think Fur will get strength right here. Since it used that on us. Oh no, it has minimized. Maybe we can hit the Mega Drain and actually... No. Okay. I thought we would live. Yeah, supersonic. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess try to Mega Drain again. And we do have Strength, so... How much damage is Strength in this? 80? So it does do more than Shadow Rush since it stabs, so we're gonna probably go with that for our main thing now. Strength on Quillfish, see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't have Poison Point. I think it does though in this. I don't know what else it would have. I don't see Quillfish all that often. We're poisoned anyway, it's fine. Whew. Bop. That damage. Come on. Nope, there goes Skiplum. Okay, I'm worried about Quillfish actually killing itself. So, what I'm actually going to do is just quick attack it with uh, Verit. And Quagsar can just come out here and just soak up hits. There we go, and then we can quick attack the Quillfish, and if this doesn't crit, or, you know, miss. Oh, 
Hit him with the shadow rush. Hmm. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna go with the same thing till Quillfish gets a bit lower. Hopefully we won't miss her. Yeah, we're good. There we go. Get him into the red. He's gonna minimize. We'll just throw Pokeballs at him. It'll be okay. Uh, we'll just have Quagsar Shadow Rush again, and we can throw a Pokeball and hope something comes out of it. Not actually out of the Pokeball, but hope something good comes. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully we'll catch it. Uh. Nope. Ah, dumb Quillfish, man. Alright, we took out Goldine, though. Uh, I really wish Skiplum didn't take, like, a million damage from that Shadow Rush. And Fur, it looks like he's about to die. Uh, we'll just let him faint if they have to. Alright, come on. A sleep powder would be really nice right about now. Oh, don't shadow rush for it. Okay. That's whatever. There we go. Use man time. Just send man time out for now. Mantine should be like one of the strongest things ever. It has like two Pokemon. It has the little Remoraid under it, even though Remoraid isn't all that strong. I mean, it's not weak. Alright, come on, just stay in this one. Eh? Uh, no. Nope. No, nah, don't kill yourself. Oh, it's gonna die, isn't it? Oh, as one health. Okay, Ferd's dead. That's fine. Just Quillfish can't. We have to catch it this time. <laughs> This has been like one of the most difficult captures so far, just because we haven't had sleep for it. I did go back and uh, catch the other two that we missed, like Slugma and Noctowl, I think it was. Because you could just go battle those trainers again, I forgot all about that. No. Nope. Hopefully it doesn't Shadow Rush, but if it does, oh well. What can you do? Surf? Okay. Got water absorb. I shouldn't do too much to Quilava, right? Like half? Yeah. A little less, about 40%. What if we just go for a regular Pokeball? 
Maybe it's like Remorite, how the Great Ball is too good for it. They give you the options of so many water Pokemon so early on. Like, if I chose uh, Croconaw, I could have had five water Pokemon by now. That's, yeah, that's not working. But, I mean, I've had, like, the option of, like, one fire Pokemon. Because, you know, Slugma. <laughs> no one can use a Slugma. Alright, Lanoon's dead. Already like 10 minutes on this battle. <laughs> Fantastic. Alright. Come on. Just stay in there, you have like one health. Uh, come on. Hey, there we go. Okay, so now I have to go down and heal. He had a swell time, so if I want to go through, I can just go ahead. Yeah, down here. Alright, let's get going. We're about to actually progress. Yeah, I don't like how my uh, controller's kinda... Eh. Oh well. It'll be okay. I wonder... Because I'm using like an Xbox controller right now. Because having to emulate this because the stupid Wii U doesn't want to have backwards compatibility like that. So I have the game right here. <laughs> I have the stuff to record it on Wii U, just not on like regular Wii or GameCube. So I had to get this. But I wonder if I can plug my Wii remote up to my computer, because I have that USB adapter thing for it. And these Poke people had some Shadow Pokemon too. I'm not sure which people though, so we're just going to have to fight everyone in here. Uh, these guys will be up front again, that's fine. I really want to get done with this place today so I can purify stuff. Manorith and Lotad. Because you have to do this, you can fight Mirror B down in here. And then, you know, a gate village after that, I believe. Uh, Lotad really can't do anything to anyone. So just both Shadow Rush him. Shadow Rush the Anorith. And Shadow Rush from Skiploom should kill it. Boom, there we go. The powerful absorb. Okay, same thing, except for with strength. Dang, strength is so good. Because I get stabbed, so it's pretty good. Yo, I need to teach for a hyper beam. <laughs> That's what I need right there. Alright, what about over here? Oh, it's just items. Either... Hmm. Alright, downstairs we go. Mm. 
Mm, this guy. What you got for me? Coughing and rolls. Okay. Ralts is just like super weak, so we're just gonna mega drain it and hope for the best. Coughing will probably take like 60% from this. No? Wow. No, that's that, uh, it's not because for its weak, it's because coughing's like a monster. That coughing is well trained. <laughs> ah. Alright, we're just gonna use strength on the Ralts. Kill Ralts. Get him out. Oh no, something's getting poisoned. Man, feels bad. Our, our star player getting poisoned. Alright, just hit, hit the rolls. There we go. A shroomish. Pshish. <laughs> what is it? Wheezing is like. It's just real physically defensive, right? What was that? Smog? Clear smog? Something like that? I wasn't paying much attention. Uh, skip them, can just kill that, and maybe we can kill Shroom Mission one hit. Nah. Why was everyone except for it going into hyper mode? All getting one health back, nice. Okay. I don't want to have to run all the way back, like, after every fight. So, I'm just going to use, like, some antidotes and potions. Why do they only want to kill Ferret? Ferret didn't do nothing. Yeah, okay, we're poisoned. Let me use the stuff. Antidotes. I wish they would make another Shadow Pokemon game. These were like the best. I'm just gonna go out to Quilava. Yeah, I wish they would make another one. But, you know, kind of make it a, uh... Like, where the Pokemon would evolve if they're that level. I wish they would do that in all the games. Because sometimes people have, like, really high level, like... Like, uh, for instance, some... Some of the people have... In X and Y or something, they would have, like... I don't know. What was even in X and Y? Yeah, I don't even remember what any of the trainers had. They had a bunch of random junk that was just awful. But, like, the reason that people say Pokemon games are so much easier now is pretty much the movesets of the Pokemon. 
Like, if you go back to Gen even 3, not even that far back, and look at the movesets, the movesets sucked. And now, like, in-game stuff, people get crazy moves. So honestly, like, these games were a bit more challenging, just because the Pokemon, like, for its best move is Strength. For it might be a bad example, but, like, Typhlosion? It doesn't learn Flamethrower to, like, 50-something. All these Pokemon are getting, like, Flamethrower at, like, 30 now? Their middle evolution? How much did Metatite take? Oh, I can take another. Hopefully can take another. And a Nemo. Alright, just don't crit, please. Alright, we're good. We're good. Medtite's kind of interesting, since it's it's like a mixed attacker in this, because, you know, it doesn't get like Psycho Cut or anything like that, Zen Headbutt, none of that fun stuff. That wasn't even things back here. But it has pure power. So its fighting type moves aren't bad. I might actually use it. I'm thinking about it. You're really considering it. I like using stuff that isn't used, like, really all that often. But then I kind of need to use some other stuff because there's a reason stuff like fur isn't used that often. Okay, so, over there's a trainer, what about this way? Stairs, let me go see the trainer first. Because I don't think this place is that big. We might be getting close to the end. Let's see what this guy's about. Let's see what this guy's all about. Is he all a dat? Can you give me a Shadow Wismer? I'd love an x -Bloud. Most of the Pokemon in this are Gen 2, though. A big majority. There are a couple Gen 3, not a huge amount. But that's not really that big a deal. Hmm. Okay, Lotad gets taken out in one hit, of course. Uh, Flame will probably two hit this Wismer. Yeah, easily. And then Strength should kill Slack off. Oh, or you know, Mega Drain will kill it. That's fine. But yeah, in like, older gens, Pokemon's movesets absolutely sucked. Like, Sandshrew, for instance, the, for the longest time, the only ground attack he had was Sand Attack. His strongest move, like, forever was Slash. Which is pretty bad. <laughs> Oh, 
Alright, so let's go check out downstairs. We've caught, what, was it one Shadow Pokemon in here? If I remember right, there's a Swablu in here somewhere? Is this it? Oh, she has a Shadow Dunsparce. That's what it is. Oh. Shadow Dunsparce. Pretty great. All right. You know what? Let's dig and hit Mareep with that. And let's hit Dunsparce with strength and hope it doesn't crit. Oh, yeah, that thing's bulky. Yeah, for instance, here, let's take a look at Dunsparce's moves for Gen 3. Dunsparce. This thing was so rare, too, to find. You, like, never saw this thing anywhere. It's a move set is it gets three damaging moves, <laughs> and this it only gets three damaging moves. It gets rage, pursuit, and takedown. Pretty good. But yeah, I was so glad when they started making TMs where you could use them on anyone, like over and over. That was so nice. So much more convenient. But it does kind of go with the whole making it easier thing. I feel like there's a way to make it more convenient without making it easier. And... Hold on, is this? Yeah, here we go. I really feel like there was a Swablu in here, though. And I think that it was, like, missable or something? What's over here? Can't go over there yet. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe this guy has it. Because you can just, yeah, you can just walk past this guy. Little stuff I remember from my childhood. Low Tad and Lombre. Maybe they just make all the show Pokemon. They don't make them, like, unmissable, right? I know in XD you, you were basically, like, forced to battle all of them. Ugh, ugh. You know what? Let's just attack Lombre. Both of you just kill Lombre. Here, like, let's go see what, uh, when Typhlosion learns his stuff. Flamethrower is at level 60. So, yeah, that's a, that's a good bit. Hmm. Okay. They yeah, also... I mean, there were some good things about older generations. Like, you could have some funny movesets just because some attacks were special back then and physical. You could run, like, a... 
hyper beam on like almost anything and it would be good, at least in Gen 1. <laughs> Gen 1 teach hyper beam to like Tauros or Snorlax, I remember that. Gen 1 was dumb though. <laughs>